Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of my Doom Lore series. In this video, I will be covering the lore about the Elemental Wraiths, who are said to be one of the most powerful beings in the Doomverse. Alright, let's get started. A long time ago, in a realm far, far away, before the existence of man, there was a planet known as Argent Dinur, barren and lifeless. At a certain point in time, a massive asteroid made of earth and metal, which was the size of the planet itself, shaped like a sharp diamond, struck and pierced right through Argent Dinur, from one pole to the other. This shard would come to be referenced as the Cosmic Spear in the Argent book called Ligra Sult Agenta, which means Book of Kings. From the sheer impact of this Cosmic Spear, a massive wound would emerge on the planet's surface, and from this wound would arise the Firstborns, the Elemental Wraiths. The birth of the Elemental Wraiths would herald the dawn of new life on the planet, as the wraiths emerged from existence, they would be imbued with a powerful ability, which the Argenta would refer to as the Wraith Call. Through this Wraith Call, they would have the power of creating the first life on the planet. Massive, feral creatures the size of titans would arise. They would be invigorated with the power of the wraiths, and they would wage war on each other, leaving behind nothing but destruction in their wake for many, many ages. These titans would be referred to as the Ancestrals, the first beings ever created on Argent Dinner. Eventually, after many cycles of life and death, the Wraith Call would birth the first of the Argenta. These Argenta would reside far away from the Ancestrals, upon the highest of mountains. In the darkness of their forges upon those mountains, they would break and mold metal to create weapons strong enough to pierce bone and sever flesh. They would come to learn the secret of the sword. With this knowledge, the Argenta would then wage war against the Ancestrals with the blessings of the Wraiths. The Argenta would emerge victorious and assert complete domination over the planet of Argent Dinur. This great victory would bring about a new age of mutual cooperation between the Argenta and the Wraiths, and they would come to worship these beings as their new gods. From this victory, all the people of Argent Dinur would make a sacred oath to their gods, to serve as the protectors of the Wraiths and to destroy anyone who dares to threaten their lives. The Wraiths, impressed with this act of loyalty, would invigorate them with the gift of magic to improve their health and capabilities in battle. They would become nearly invincible against their war with the armies of hell. Not only that, the wraiths would grant them near limitless energy to power their civilization. These gifts would come to be called sentinel energy. And just as a side note, those sentinel batteries you come across in Doom Eternal are actually part of that great history. A capsule housing the pure energy of those wraiths. After the exchange of loyalty and rewards between the Argenta and the wraiths, that moment in time would be marked forever in the history as the day the Order of the Night Sentinels was born. Hardened warriors and stalwart defenders of the wraiths and the people of Argenta against the forces of hell and beyond. After which came the time of expansion, peace, and prosperity. This is when the Argenta built up their society, building massive cities and infrastructure. They would utilize fertile soil to grow food for sustenance and strength. They would tame beasts of burden to help with the expansion to make their lives easier. And as you would expect, they would continue to build upon their weapons and armor in order to improve the Night Sentinels even further. They would also create the Cathedral of Reflection for the worship of their gods and form the Order of the Dee, whose priests would pay tribute to the wraiths and appease their unhanding hunger, lest they become the target of the Wraith Call if they are deemed unworthy. The Wraith Call is capable of driving lesser creatures to madness. But little did they know that the very clergy they created to serve the wraiths would be the harbingers of their destruction. Throughout the expansion of their civilization, they were watched by beings that predated even the wraiths. 
These beings call themselves the Makers. These Makers, after having witnessed the near limitless power of sentinel energy and a brand new civilization that had never heard of them before, would finally reveal themselves to the Argenta. And as is tradition with the Makers, they would bring gifts of unimaginable technology that would raise their civilization to incredible new heights. Alongside the technology that they would bring, the Makers would also bring about promises of eternal peace in the beautiful realm of Erdak, which no mortal has ever laid eyes on. Erdak is effectively the very definition of heaven. Should they accept this promise, it is there where the Argenta who would die in the service of the Makers would find eternal rest alongside their family and friends, an afterlife devoid of all pain and suffering, where they can live forever away from the burdens of mortality. With an offer such as this, the Argenta would welcome them with open arms and accept this newfound technology, all the while discarding their sacred oaths to the wraiths, their original gods. With the promise now accepted, the Makers would infiltrate every part of their society and culture. They would become their new deities, their new gods, the only beings worthy of worship. The Argenta would never know until it was too late that such power comes at a price, that the Makers, their new gods, had their own agenda, that they would eventually make a pact with the ultimate enemy of life itself. And this is where I will end the video guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. In the next video I will talk about the history of the Makers and how they are literally the catalyst to all the chain of events that happen in the Doom storyline. I will also continue the story of the Wraiths, as every single aspect of the Doomverse is heavily interconnected. That is what makes the Doomverse so incredible and interesting. Anyways, as always, I will see you in the next one. Anvil out.